Hey. Hey, what's up? Dark Sky here. And today we are playing a new game that I've uh, come across that uh, I've been kind of watching it. And it looks like a very interesting game. Uh, it's called A Monstrous Expedition uh, Through Puzzling Expeditions. And uh, it's kind of what it is, is about that uh, the human race is gone. And this little monster basically lands on this planet, on the planet Earth, I guess. And... He's trying to uh, find more uh, information about humanity. And in the process, he has to go through all these different puzzles. And uh, yeah, it looks like a really neat game. And i uh, been really enjoying it. By the way, on uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up on our giveaway. Uh, no, There have been no winners for this week. I hope to uh, see more... Uh, uh, more... Looking forward to more entries for uh, this coming week for this uh, game of uh, Warhammer uh, of Ages. Um, it's a, a really good game. It's uh, kind of like a civilization type of game where you you know you, you conquering and and uh, taking over uh, different parts of land and whatnot. So uh, yeah, definitely get in on that. You'll see the information down in the uh, description down below. Um, where you can actually find out more about uh, where to, you know, find and purchase this game, as well as information on the giveaway. Uh, you'll also find information on the giveaway on the uh, community tab on my main page on YouTube. So uh, make sure you take a look at that. And uh, yeah, I hope to uh, hope we see a winner for uh, next week. All right. Well, let's get into this game. I tell you, I'm, I am stoked to play this game. I mean, I play a little bit, but uh, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna come in on a little tugboat. I guess the aliens are controlling the tugboat too, or something. I don't know. But uh, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna knock this tree over. We're gonna go across, and this is pretty much what it is. You're knocking over trees. And you got to figure out kind of a puzzle to this to uh, unlock uh, different areas so that uh, you can get from one island to the next. And then you find out like little things like this, that uh, museums for humans, uh, scale model, humans prefer their museums indoors. Uh, and then you find like little, ex you know, kind of really interesting little uh Tidbits, you know, experts have recently suggested that keeping objects indoors may have been part of England Land's effort to hide and store museum collections of stolen property. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so now what we're going to do is we'll continue on through here. I'm um, thinking I want to do probably this and then just roll it this way. And I didn't mean to do that. And then I'm just going to knock it over and right into the drink. There we go, into the next island. All right, so let me see here. What are we going to do on this one here? So I'm thinking knock this log over, roll it to that. Knock it over here. Uh, pop that up there. Bring that around. There we go. On to the next island. So far, so easy. Uh, now I got this little thing here. What is this? A plinth. Humans like to put objects in boxes called plinths. I've never heard of a plinth before, but you know, each their own. Uh, let's see here. So what we're going to do. Um, I'm thinking let's knock that over that way. Roll it into that. And then we'll pop it up. And I'll roll that into there. Nope, that was not the key. So we have to redo that one. So um, hit R to refresh. And let's see if we can't think of a better solution on doing this. Um, let's 
Let's see. I'm thinking this. <clears throat> And then bring that back up here and I'll drop that down. No, that's not going to work either, is it? Darn it. Hmm. I thought I had a, had a thing going on there for a second, but. Try redoing that. See the little puzzles are like, uh, it's interesting. So you have to kind of really think about what you're doing here. Uh, let's see here. I know it's going to be something like this. We're going to pop this here. Now I want to do that and that. There we go. There we go. All right, so now we got uh, two possibilities here. Um, let's put that down here and roll that into there. Darn it. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. I managed to fix that one. All right, and this one here looks like a certificate of excellence. It's okay if humans uh, object, but we won the Ma Monster Travel Award for museum. Look, there's a trophy to accept. Uh, we sort of knocked it over, and now there's a bit of a uh, bit missing. So it's a mending cupboard at head office, but the certificate is great. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking maybe doing this way here and maybe that no that was not the way all right let's try it again um what if I knocked it this way and then rolled it this way there we go now, as far as this one here, I'm thinking maybe knock it this way, roll it into the rock, and then just pop it in the water. There we go. Hmm, let me see. How are we going to do this? Nope, that wasn't it. Oops. Thinking like this here. Like that, put it down that way, and then roll it this direction. There we go. Ah, the Q here sign. Yep. Uh, develop such a close interest as what the weather was doing. Huh. All right. I don't know if we get some kind of achievement or something like that for uh, doing that. And I think these are like teleporters. So if we wanted to, we could teleport from, say, this location to some other location. So. Okay. So let me see here. We need to do... No, did that one wrong. Let's see. Let's redo that one.
Hmm. Let's see, how do we work this? Let's see how that one works. Holiday lies. Holidaying humans like to spend pictures. They didn't uh, take the people. They didn't like claiming that they wish those other humans were present. Uh, NB, please do not put this exhibit in the monster post. Replica holiday lies are available in the gift shop. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Uh, I'm thinking. Maybe something like that. And then. No. Let's reset that one. What if I knock that one that way? And then did that that way there? Hmm. No love there. I don't know. Maybe that was the wrong way to go about it. Let's go back the other direction and see if there was something we might have missed. Um, nope. Bar. All right. Oh, not close enough. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, let's see here. What else can we do? Um, Dang it. Wrong direction. Okay, so this one probably obviously goes that direction. Dang it, this is not close enough.
Okay, well, we made it to that point, so that's good. Let's see here. Uh, Stashion and ropes. This is another human museum magic trick. If you put a little metal pulls around the exhibit, visitors will still get too close and prod it. But if you connect the poles using velvet ropes, an invisible wall pops up and the exhibits are safe. <laughs> okay. That did not go as planned. Let's try that again. There we go. What do we got here? Band-Aid? black most recent human museum trick that monsters experts have discovered in plaques any information on the plaque felt truthier to humans even if it was just a guess researchers are still trying to determine the same is true for monsters that there put that there and here we are sailing sailing All right, new area. Let's go check it out, huh? Hmm. So, how do we do this? Let's see. If we do it this way here...
there. How about that there? That'll work. There we go. Got past that one. Human storage rack. Uh, it looks like a climbing wall. Hook protrusions on the wall suggest it performed for similar function of the familiar human coat rack, but instead of collecting coats, it allowed users to store multiple humans without them getting crumpled or wrinkled. <laughs> okay. Playable flamingo. Not, not much is known about this species of buoyant plastic waterfowl evolved in England land. Our best guess is that traditional feathered flamingos got fed up with standing on one leg and decided to adopt an extreme flotation techniques instead. <laughs> There we go. Now we can do the teleporting thing from there to up here if we wanted to. Oh, this map is pretty big. Let's see here. So I want to knock this over here. Which way do I want to go with this? Loose change. The trove of cash is excavated from the velocity nooks and crannies. The seating of the Phoenix Movie Palace. When the, the theater was established in 2042, the total value of the coins at that time was just enough to cover the cost of two standard off-peak cinema tickets and a small popcorn. <laughs> Time for a little Joe. <laughs> he just tosses it. All right. So let's see here. What do we got? Leech powered pen. 
for humans harness with the power of steam. They tried to harness the power of leeches instead of traditional cartridges. This leech-powered pen used leeches fed on blood flavored ink. <laughs> That's not really what I wanted to do. Hmm. Let's try that again, Sam. Is this planned? about this one here let's see here this is this is a tricky one Flamingo egg, unverified. This curious aerated egg is now thought to be part of inflatable flamingos. Duck to cycle. The parent birds probably took turns in encircling the egg with their rubber ring bodies, thus protecting and incubating it until the inflatable chick emerged. <laughs> That's funny. Dang it, I thought that was going to be a winner. Well, let's see. How do we do this?
There we go. There we go. Slowly covering this map, but getting there. Lighthouse. At first glance, it appears to be a lighthouse. In fact, it is an Elysium or lure of a gigantic anglerfish. These predators outpace their subaquatic food supply and learn to prey on human sailors by dangling their pulsing lure above the water. <laughs> Cream tea augments over the weather cream of, or jam should be applied to a scone first escalated during the 2500s. Tensions accumulated in the cream tea conflicts of 2576-2578 when Devonian and Cornish Zealots wage mid-afternoon warfare on a gingham battlefield. Oh. Uh -huh. Sailing, sailing. Here we are. Land of books. Unread books. To ease the collective eggs humans held in. I want to be the kind of person who reads this, but it turns out I'm not. And I feel bad book amnesty of 2025 the move freed up 2.38 square kilometers of bedside table surface space <laughs> all right well anyways i think this is going to be uh do it for today uh appreciate you coming along and uh hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and smash that like and please leave a comment in, down in the uh comment section below 
Uh, you also find out uh, that we um, we didn't get uh, a winner for this giveaway for this uh, this week. So make sure to uh, apply for the uh, the giveaway for this week. Uh, it'll be the same game, uh, War the Ga- Warhammer of Age, and uh, and you can find more information about that in the description below, as well as on the uh, community tab of my main page. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. You take care now, and bye-bye.